Uh, let's start then about the news surrounding the future of Jaffe Alonso. We've got Melissa Reddy bringing us up to date with exactly what we know, what we're going to hear a little bit later as well from Alonso when he speaks. Um, it looks like he's going to stay at Bayer Leverkusen at this summer. He's not going to be taking over at Liverpool. The fans a little bit upset about that, but you've got a bit of an update for us, haven't you, on, on the situation? Yeah, he's also now informed Bayern Munich that he will be staying at Leverkusen, as was expected. I don't think the news has been any surprise to Liverpool. They've got quite a good relationship with Xavi Alonso, with his entourage. He's in a circle. They know his character. Mm. And they've actually been very private about how they're going about their pursuits of Jurgen Klopp's successor. They had to take a shot at who Klopp said is the standout manager of this generation, but it doesn't mean that he was the only one they were swinging at in all this time. I think it's different for Bayern Munich because their approach has been very public, very chest out. He will become the new Bayern Munich manager. So it's a bigger blow for them. I think there's also a contrast between both opportunities. Mm -hmm. That Liverpool job rarely comes up. In the time Klopp has been at Liverpool, Bayern have had seven different head coaches. So I think in Alonso's mind, he'll be feeling that that opportunity, it's bound to come up again. Mm. The timeline also fits him succeeding Carlo Ancelotti at Real Madrid if he just stays patient and remains at Leverkusen. Now, as we know, football is not linear. So it doesn't mean that next season, Xabi is going to be as good and Leverkusen are going to be as good. Mm -hmm. There's no guarantees of that. But he's ultimately backing himself, backing mm -hmm. his work, his intuition, what he's building, and he's going to stay calm, remain at Leverkusen. There's one thing that's interesting. The narrative out of Munich has been if Alonso didn't stay at Leverkusen, he was going to choose Bayern rather than any other club. Whereas Alonso staying at Leverkusen is actually an indictment on Bayern because he's saying, well, I'm confident and comfortable here that next season we're going to come for you again and we're going to take you guys out again. Almost a double blow. But do you think it was a real shock to, to Bayern Munich? Maybe they wouldn't have come out as publicly as saying that had they not have thought he's going to come to us. And Liverpool as well, a bit of a shock because Jurgen Klopp, of course, has backed him so, so, so publicly. Yeah, I think definitely more so for Bayern, as I've just explained, with yeah. Liverpool, because of the structure that they've now got in place with Michael Edwards and Richard Hughes Institute to oversee the appointment of Klopp's successor, backed by what is considered the best analytics department mm. in football, they'll have a ton of research and they'll feel like Yes, listen, there's no doubting that Alonso was the outstanding candidate. He's the outstanding candidate at the moment for every top club because of what he's doing and because everyone can see how high his ceiling is. But Liverpool will think, well, we have an outstanding structure mm. and whichever manager is coming into this, they're going to receive great support. Bayern... It's a lot trickier for them. There's been upheaval. Like I said, they've recycled through so many different managers. They, there wasn't a unified feeling on Julian Nagelsmann. A lot of people on the board did not want mm. him to be sacked. And so it's not just concern about the management, but concern around their entire structure. So I think they've got a lot more work to do. Mm. A lot of the fans will be, you know, gutted thinking, oh, this was just the perfect time, the perfect replacement. But who could be the perfect man now? Do we have a, a short list to succeed Klopp? And who do you think the fans are going to want uh, as well? There's so much to take into consideration. It was a very romantic story, Xabi Alonso to Liverpool. But Liverpool are quite smart and a lot of work will be going into alternatives. And I think the leading candidate is probably Sporting's Ruben Amarim, just because stylistically they play very similar to Liverpool in terms of their high press mm -hmm. metrics, very direct team, speed of play. His first full season 
at Lever uh, at uh, Sporting, sorry, mm. mirrors Xabi's first full season, what he's currently doing now at Leverkusen in terms right. of just reconfiguring everything that you thought about the club. Uh, he delivered the league title. It broke a 19-year drought. I think they only actually lost one game in that season across all competitions, and he delivered a domestic double. So Amarim profiles quite highly. There's also Roberto De Zerbi, who, with the second lowest budget in the league, still manages to possess the same possession statistics and stuff as Manchester City, which is just remarkable. 